Okay, here we go. Hi guys, come on in. All right. Welcome to my, uh, my shed slash garage. I call it the shed because there's some zoning things that cost a little more if you call it a garage and you gotta do concrete in with it. So this, uh, this area out here, you're gonna see as you go through your little tour here, these pink stickers. Pink. Now these pink stickers pink. represent something that we purchased pink. at the auction. Four years ago, uh, Rhonda took an early furlough for the COVID-19 virus and um, uh, way ahead of schedule, but that's okay. I'm a planner. Um, and, um, and so now what she does is we go to auctions and we go to estate sales and uh, we buy things and then Rhonda will sell them on eBay. And I will tell you, she's very, very good at this. She knows, she'll tell me sometimes, don't buy that, don't buy this. And she knows just what to spend on something to where you can make a profit. I, on the other hand, buy things and uh, sometimes when she's not looking, and uh, here's one here. This was a uh, an antique uh, card table and chairs, and um, we it, got home and found out it was basically worthless. So. Well, I mean, it's it's worth money. It just would cost a fortune to ship it. Yeah, and it's it's, it's just not worth it if you have to spend one hundred fifty dollars to ship a two hundred dollar product. Yeah, Seems like a good idea. Yeah, uh, I have a nickname for out here. I call this the graveyard of, of well intention. You know what I mean by that is I buy things at the auction. I'll show you a couple of them. Uh, last year I bought this lawnmower for Alex, and um, and I uh, got it home. It doesn't run, so I start you know I'm tinkering with it a little bit here. I'll get it running eventually. I mean I'm you can see I'm working on it. I got parts off it here. I don't know what something what that is, but um, <laughs> and then this bike I bought this for Krista, and. Um, she she might be driving by the time that I get it cleaned up and stuff, but the deal's coming. So I've got I really bought myself a couple of years there. The trike, I'm, so promise, I'm promising you this spring this Great. trike's going to be on the road. Great, we might as well move that, into a senior community in that's Florida. Gonna, that's going to be fun. I had I thoughts of making the basket for the dogs. It'd be kind of cute, I think, to drive around the neighborhood. So, but um, I got the ladder, the auction. This is my best buy I got at the auction. More pink tags. I got this thing, this cabinet, and it's chock full of stuff. Well, that drew it. <laughs> well, that's a bad drew. Look at the, the gloves. I mean, probably like $12 gloves or something. Um, nails, roofing nails. I mean, it's just full of this stuff. It's crazy. And I got this for five bucks. Completely chuck full like this. Look at this. 79 cents. It's almost paid for. <laughs> I'm almost there. So, uh, but a lot of, you're going to see a lot of these pink stickers on things. And then this area back here is kind of my little work area. Uh, I'm a huge, huge Ryobi fan. And uh, uh, you can see another sticker there. Um, this is a tree trimmer, and I, I do a lot of tree trimming in my spare time, so that'll come in handy. Okay. Um, I just got this saw, and um, I don't have it working quite yet. It came with, with some stuff that I can't figure out how it goes on. It looks like some sort of safety equipment. I, I really, I'll probably just go ahead and use it the way it is. I don't know what could go, you know, what could go wrong oh with God, a steel I blade going and uh, you know, $10 As I look, stand right over here, I see more pink stickers. Mm -hmm. Pink stickers. Oh my gosh, we spend a lot with Black Swamp auctions. I think. Got the, the license plates, pink stickers. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah you're right, pink sticker. Yeah. So, um, uh, as I said, I'm big team Ryobi. I, I got the generator for um, you know, when everybody else is buying toilet paper, I bought a generator because when, when it hits the fan, I'm going to be ready to go. Uh, you know, I, I like coming out here. I got a little heater. This is kind of my social distancing long before there was such a thing. And um, it's kind of nice. Sometimes the grandkids will come out. I, I, in the summertime, I keep a little uh, Tupperware container full of some, some candies and stuff. And they come out, hey, Grandpa, can we spend some time with you out here? And I said, sure. And then they say, where's the candy? And then they go back in the house with Rhonda. 
But uh, maybe Theo will be different. Uh, I could spend some time out here with her. She might say, hey, Grandpa, what's the difference between, you know, this saw and that saw? And, and I'll tell her, you know, I don't know, YouTube or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the dogs have their treats here. Who wants a cookie? Come here. They like their treats. And uh, so this is, uh, you know, where I spend a little bit of time out here. It's, uh, it's kind of nice. And... Uh, like I said, social distancing before there was such a thing. So I really don't have anything else to add. I want everybody to stay safe and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.